Your Excellency, the Governor of Delta State, Senator Dr. Ifeanyi Okowa. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Delta State, Barrister Kingsley Utuaro. The Senator representing Delta South Senatorial District and Chairman, Senate Committee on Gas, Senator James Manager. The Minority Leader of the House of Representatives, the Right Honorable Ndidi Elumelu and other members of the National Assembly present. Honorable Minister of State for Labor and Employment, Mr. Festus Kayamo, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. Our host, His Royal Majesty the OB of Owa and Chairman of the Delta State Traditional Rulers Council, OB Dr. Emmanuel Efezomo the second, JP, OOM. The chairman of the Federal Road Safety Corps, Mr. Buhari Bello. The Corps Marshal of the Federal Road Safety Corps, Mr. Boboye Oyeyemi, MFR. The Right Honorable Speaker of the Delta State House of Assembly, Mr. Sheriff Obore Bori and other members of the Delta State House of Assembly. Members of the Delta State Executive Council present, members of the Delta State Traditional Rulers Council present, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen. Your Royal Highness, I want to thank you very much, first of all, for the very warm reception and for the great honor that you have uh, done me this afternoon. Uh, by the gift of the traditional costume. Uh, I'd have liked to wear it immediately, but for COVID protocols. And uh, I, very soon, I will be dressed properly when next I visit. Uh, Your Royal Highness, I'm here today as a guest of my dear friend and brother, uh, the governor of Delta State, uh, Senator Fia Yokoa. And I think you're absolutely right uh, that my relationship with him yeah, goes well beyond party lines. We are indeed uh, friends, and I consider him a friend. Um, we're here to commission uh, the uh, Federal Road Safety Corps Marshals Inspectorate Training Center here in the Owa Kingdom. And uh, it is a landmark event because it's one of those exemplars of the cooperation between a state government and the federal government. And we really want to commend uh, the Delta State Government for the collaboration with the Federal Road Safety Corps in bringing about uh, this, inspectorate, uh, this inspectorate office in this place. I'm sure that uh, Your Royal Highness has seen the very impressive premises of the inspectorate uh, which we'll be proceeding to as soon as we leave here. But I also want to say that uh, the development of this country will depend a great deal, and depends a great deal, on this type of cooperation. This country is uh, a country of 36 states and a federal capital territory. Each of those states, regardless of the party in power, is an important component of the Federation. And the greater the cooperation, the greater the chances that we'll have the kind of country that we all dream about. I'm also very excited to hear, uh, Your Royal Highness, about your own um, odyssey in, in, poli in political life and politics, beginning with the Western State House of Assembly in those days. And how you have come this far to be, to ascend the throne of your fathers and to preside over the affairs of your people. One of the points that we must continue to repeat is the fact that this nation is great because of its people, the people of this country, the diverse people of this country, from everywhere, from the north to the south, 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 southeast, everywhere. It is because of these people, it is because of their greatness, because of their innovation, the diversity and strength of their culture, their values, that we have a great country. And so everywhere we go, we must re-emphasize 
that our country is great because it is a country of such diverse people, of such diverse talent, of such diverse values. And so when sometimes we hear those who are agitating and advocating that the country should break into little parts, we must say that, uh, we, we must caution them and let them understand that little countries all over the world are not stronger because they are small. As a matter of fact, the smallest countries in our part of the world have experienced the greatest conflicts in the past two decades. We know about Liberia, we know about Sierra Leone. These are very small countries. As a matter of fact, if you look at the GDP of Sierra Leone or Liberia, there are at least 10 states in Nigeria that have bigger GDPs than Sierra Leone or Liberia. Yet, they had long-running conflicts. So I think that it's important for our people to understand that the unity of this country should never be compromised because it's the source of our greatness. And it is where, why we have been able to get to the point where we are today. What we need to do is to establish fairness, justice and equity in our dealings with each other. And that is the basis for unity, is the basis for our foundation. And that's what we must all strive to achieve. And it's achievable, but it's a, but it's a journey. It's not, it's, not a, it's not an event, it's a journey. The journey to a fuller, a, a more fair, a more just union is one that we must continue to pursue day by day. And it is a journey that will go on for a long time. So I'd like to thank you again, Your Royal Highness, for your very warm welcome and for, uh, for your very encouraging words and uh, the, the very kind uh, gesture towards me. And to wish the people of Delta State and the people of this kingdom in particular, the Owa Kingdom, to wish you very well indeed. I pray for you, sir, that you will uh, live long and that you will govern your people for a very long time. And there will be peace in this domain, there will be security, there will be prosperity in this domain for many, many years to come. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you, sir.